Hey guys, hope you are doing well. So the US uh, in core inflation is uh, better than, it's the same as we expected, but better than in the previous months. So the market is in green now and we are heading into the weekend. My name is Mike Dentler from Corionex and we are bringing you the most important crypto news, technical analysis, altcoin gems, NFT and DeFi gems to keep you updated and educated. I should state that nothing in this video can be considered as a financial or investment advice, so everything just for your education and entertainment purposes only. So guys, smash those like, push the bell and notification or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Smashing those like is helping out the YouTube algorithm, so appreciate all your likes and let's dive into and analyze the news and everything that we have for today. So guys, uh, I cannot uh, see myself here. Let's, okay, so now it's working. Cool. So our bridge and is up and running. So actually you can uh, bridge back and forth uh, Corionex. So that's good news because uh, we are uh, available on Ethereum and on Binance Smart Chain. So that's a really good news that our bridge is working again. So guys, let's go and check out our favorite bubble chart. As we see, most of the altcoins are in red and Bitcoin is up almost uh, slightly up and Ethereum is just a little bit down, but good, great to see that uh, altcoins are uh, just pumping after each other. So now Comp, uh, Trust Wallet Coins, Avalanche, Rune are doing really well. Let's check our favorite indicator, the Crypto Fear and Greed Index. It is it back to 50 and great to see after one year, uh, of almost 10 days in uh, the neutral zone around 50. So the investor sentiment is getting better. Let's go and check out our first news. Bitcoin can still crack 50,000 if gold correlation continues according to this chart. So gold, Bitcoin inverse dollar correlation without question. So what if Bitcoin continues to follow gold DXY? So this is the gold DXY index. And you see if we are measuring gold in DXY in dollar terms, then gold already pumped. And what if, if Bitcoin will follow and also Bitcoin will break out? That would be amazing. Outside of momentary reactions to geopolitical events, you think gold has been leading Bitcoin for four years. Yes. According to TechDev, Bitcoin now has a chance of passing not only 30,000, but even 50,000 US dollar. Analyst gold set for imminent huge trade boost. Russia will not make formal announcement about gold standards because there is no need, nor will China. Instead, it might reveal an increase in gold reverse, part of a gold money article released. So, McLeod himself is no Bitcoin fan with a dedicated article. So... Okay, we will not try to guess this uh, future, but uh, we can say confidently that if the debasement of the currencies accelerates gold, a relatively a relative value will increase accordingly. Why that a Bitcoin might not, according to him, but he's not a Bitcoin friend. But Mike McLone says that Bitcoin is entertaining, Bitcoin outpacing gold in the long term. So he's thinking that Bitcoin will outperform gold. So next piece of news is U.S. institutions account for 85% uh, of Bitcoin buying in a very positive sign, according to Mat Matrix report. So Bitcoin fear and greed index is back as we already got this. If history is uh, any guide, then we should see the outperformance of layer one and altcoins relative to Bitcoin. Aptos is seeing a mix of strong returns during U.S. trading hours and during Asia trading hours. But also that was because, uh, yeah, so uh, Asian, on Asian exchanges like Korea, Upbit, uh, they pumped Aptos. Okay. So giving up on crypto and it's an indicator that we might be entering a new crypto bull market. So Mark was still on the head of research Evidence shows that institutions are not giving up on crypto. Institutional investors are not giving up on crypto with recent data pointing to us much as 85% of Bitcoin buying being 
the results of American institutional players according to matrix reports. So guys, I heard that Asians also buying, but uh, let's guess. Uh, <laughs> okay. Six on-chain metrics suggesting Bitcoin is a generational buying opportunity. Okay, with laser eyes and with Bitcoin eyes, let's go and buy this generational buying opportunity. Large entities have been in deep accumulation mode ever since the FTX collapse, according to this macro analyst. And also I shared this game of trades. Um, so Bitcoin entity adjusted dormancy flow. So this is the lowest level ever. So the dormancy flow when Bitcoin went dormant and the Bitcoin's MVR VZ Z score also went as low as uh, the lowest level as you see here and all other things but we will check it out on this thread so guys let's go and get it top crypto analyst issues warning on ethereum arrival that's exploded over 460 percent this month say sell-off likely sell-off so we are all already shorting aptos aptos absolutely insane triple digit percentage point increase over the last two weeks uh, and insane as the move has been, I would give it a high likelihood this sell off heavily into a BTC gut candle out of its current range. At least in terms of BTC pair, wouldn't be shocked to even see a slightly sell off in terms of USD on a massive BTC move. I have never been so bullish on Bitcoin in my life for a window of what I think uh, will happen over the next several weeks than I am right now. I don't think that this rally leads to new all-time highs, more likely top, uh, top out at distribute in the 40s, 50s, 45s, US, uh, thousand US dollar range for a couple of months before uh, retracing back to mid to high 20s later this year. But I really think it's about to accelerate rapidly. Just really to believe we are due for a massive gut candle sometimes in the near future. Yes. Next piece of news is largest crypto hedge fund in the world says DeFi will drive the next crypto bull market pantera capital says that one sector of the digital asset space will drive DeFi. what's interesting to note here on the other hand it's the decentralized finance protocols which lent to largely unknown counterparties didn't blow up the reasoning behind why DeFi protocols managed to succeed has a couple of levels to it. The surface level is that these protocols, Compound, Aave, Maker, force people to post collateral and enforce aggressive risk controls. The great irony is that those risk controls are the same kind of controls centralized entities often uh, anecdot anecdotally said were too tight, just inefficient. They would tell us these protocols can't monitor risk like we do, more months later, one of my closest friends told me about the favorable borrowing terms one of these companies gave him. The company was taking on absurd amounts of blue up risk. I thought him something along the lines of the next cycle will likely blow up due to these centralized lender entities. They are picking up pennies in front of steamroller. These centralized protocols can just say, trust me, I went to MIT and want to donate everything to charity. DeFi protocols are more of you don't have to trust us, Nature or a Google put it so well before they dropped in DeFi protocols can't be avail. avail. The only option at the protocol layer is to build something that works, something from first principles in the open against a pseudonymic playing field of rational economic actors where your code is public and anyone can scrutinize and read it. The solution of this current suite of problems will take another two or three years to be solved and built out. Many of them and the future innovations they enable will provide excellent investment opportunities. As they do get solved, they create an existing groundwork for the next uh, cycle of crypto being driven by DeFi. To me, the most exciting thing about that is DeFi enabled of a new open global and more efficient financial system. I like it. Let me know guys in the comment section, do you, do you prefer DeFi or CeFi? But CeFi is, is dead right now. ARK Invest CEO sees potential crypto rebound amid a whiffs of a Fed pivot. Okay, Cathy Wood. 
public block blockchains, cryptocurrencies and crypto assets which are going through a bumpy period right now are going to become even more uh, differentiated, differentiated for the scarcity in an age of abundance and also AI is coming up so cause a boom is, is the product and service associated with its innovation Wun concluded that these technology innovation are de deflationary yes and also he bought some coin uh, so coinbase share next enormously bullish indicators suggesting crypto rebound says skybridge capital ceo anthony scaramucci so let's quote i do believe that the fed declares victory at a uh, four to five percent inflation if i'm right there will be a resurgence in the market there will be a lot of short covering into crypto and there will be a rebirth of risk assets okay Scaramucci also details Skybridge Capital's exposure to bankrupt crypto exchange FTX, saying that the firm purchased 10 million worth of FTT token only to sell it to 9.6 million a short while later. Okay, so they sold. Okay. Next, in, in enormous news that El Salvador proves its supre uh, su supremacy by paid off 80 million, 800 million. Uh, US dollar debt. So, El Salvador has paid back a bond worth 800 billion in debt. Uh, a country introduced a regulatory framework for all cryptocurrencies. So, El Salvador government was in default. In the past year, almost every legacy international news outlet said that be because of our Bitcoin bet, El Salvador was going to default on its debt by January 2023, since we had an 800 million uh, US dollar bond maturing today literally hundreds of articles what's happened with El Salvador El Salvador choose uh, to make Bitcoin a, 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 to legal tender and now they paid back to this uh, IMF and IMF I understand why IMF is nervous and why IMF uh, doesn't like Bitcoin but uh, kudos to El Salvador next adoption news US Senator Ted Cruz pushes for crypto in Congress using snacks so uh, there will be some uh, snacks uh, automates and they will uh, uh, they, he's pushing that in the senator uh, senators can purchase uh, with crypto different uh, snacks from the vending machine <laughs> who is huge next state senator pushes bill to make bitcoin legal tender in arizona so this is much 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 important news uh, bitcoin is the best performing asset in the world this year according to goldman sachs launched my crypto bills today as well as photo rather prohibition which included nearly all my republican senator colleges cool centralized digital money controlled by the central bankers is slavery decentralized bitcoin is freedom guys great to see these senators and also coinbase suggested to brazil and argentina making bitcoin uh, a legal tender next Coin Bureau makes prediction on Circles USDC issue stark warning. Here is its outlook. Uh, the growth of USDC supply over the past few years is further evidence that USDC strategy has been working. I also think that it's inevitable that USDC will become the predominant stablecoin in the next two years. However, I can't say that I'm completely happy about that. Why Circle's vision for crypto payments adoption is something I can get on board with. I'm still quite skeptical of its true underlying motives. It is backed by Goldman. It is partnered with BlackRock. It has embarked on some powerful lobbying initiatives to get in the ears of politicians, Washington, D.C. and Brussels. It's also shown, shown uh, that it's ready and willing to censor transactions should it be instructed to do so by the powers that be. I also think that stablecoin competition is healthy. It encourages it encourages insurers to continue developing better products and allows people to diversify the stablecoin holding. We don't want a monopoly. This is part of the reason why I don't hope that uh, one day Tether does come out with a full audit so that it can address the fund once and for all. It could also have to calm the nerves of the increasingly edgy crypto community. 
until that a circle is going to continue its aggressive growth so i like coin bureau so definitely check this out next piece of news is crypto giant grayscale to face sec in court to push for co uh, converting its bitcoin investment product into etf Mark your calendars, oral arguments in our case challenging SEC decisions to deny GBTC conversion to spot Bitcoin. ETF was just scheduled for Tuesday, March. So we were pre previously uh, anticipating oral arguments to be as soon as Q4 this year. The next event to look out for will be selection of the free judge panel from the DC Circuit Court of Appears. Had the SEC already approved uh, the spot Bitcoin ETF allowed GBTC to convert it to an ETF already, then a lot of investors harm that you see in crypto would have been prevented. A lot of these investors would not have gone to offshore exchanges and gotten caught up in some of the businesses that are not regulated by the US the way that the grayscale is. So guys, this is, they are delaying with this, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Cardano base regulated stablecoin USDA uh, will hit market in early 2023 so we are waiting for this and this is the regulatory compliance stablecoin in the cardano ecosystem amurgo said okay so at least some uh, we will see some DeFi popping up uh, in the cardano ecosystem and also maybe this is the reason why cardano adds five uh, 50,000 50, new wallets as ada market cap surges so ADA wallet uh, de delegators, you see the increase and uh, they are preparing for this. ADA market cap surge is nearly 50%, but everything's pumped, not just ADA from uh, 0 0.2 to actually to 0 point almost three. Cardano most anticipated catalyst is the DJED is Cardano's first ADA back stable coins powered by Coty network. It's an over collateralized stable coin with a collateral rate between 400 to 800 percent according to the description of the other pools.io cool next polygon derivatives dax gains network crosses 50 uh, 1.5 billion in trading volume on arbitrum so guys i told you so gmx and also gains network gains network so gains network deployed on arbitrum reached 230 million in the past 24 hours alone so also it's just going wide on polygon and on uh, arbitrum and you don't have to uh, get, uh, pass through kyc and you can trade uh, using your ledger and uh, everything is safe and smoothly next piece of news is swiss a bank a city gestion, uh, gestion becomes first private bank to tokenize its own shares so they are tokenizing its own share and this is a private bank is partnering with digital asset firm taurus uh, to issue and manage its tokenized shares so you can buy the tokenized shares of this private bank um, with crypto pantera capital jump crypto back 150 million injective ecosystem fund the uh, initiative will support financial apps developed to work across blockchain based on the Cosmos ecosystem. So guys, Injective uh, protocol is uh, part of the Cosmos ecosystem and Injective protocol launched this initiative. So Injective, a Cosmos based layer one blockchain for building finance apps that can access other blockchains, unveiled a 150 million ecosystem initiative with partners including crypto investment firms, Pantera Capital and KuCoin Ventures uh, and others. Uh, it's certainly accelerated because of the uh, recent failures of the centralized players. So guys, I like Atom Cosmos, so definitely uh, take a look on Injective Protocol. Next piece of news is Phantom, the next one, the next layer one gem. Phantom blockchain to fund ecosystem projects using portion of burnt M Phantom fees. Phantom by offering a decentralized avenue for funding projects, IDs, and creations through accumulated-driven decisions protocols. The world represents a value opportunity for projects to secure funding in their efforts to build uh, innovative DApps on Phantom, developers said. 
and also Andre Kronia is back so guys Andre Kronia is back so I am I'm, I'm betting that Phantom will be the next blockchain uh, uh, in the DeFi ecosystem next piece of news is CZ alleges uh, alleges FTX paid uh, 43 million to run Binance FUD in media FTX funded FUD on Binance Binance uh, had an EMEA session on Twitter Sao alleged that FTX paid uh, a crypto news publishing site over 33 million US dollars to publish negative articles about the Binance exchange the CEO noted that the originally paid some attention to the circulation negative news I don't think it's going to stop but I don't think it's going to bother us that mo much going forward so they are building and not caring what FTX is doing but in insane spending a clients uh, money uh, for the Binance insane Tesla earnings uh, record revenue and a beat on earnings so record revenue and earnings per share automotive revenue automated 21.3 billion in the three months and that's uh, amazing automatic gross margin came in at 26 percent the lowest figure in the last five quarters so margins are lower and what the main uh, news that we are interesting about tesla that tesla didn't buy or sell any bitcoin in the fourth quarter so the good news that they didn't buy the company reported uh, 34 million in impermanent charges to its Bitcoin holdings. However, so that was the imp some impermanent loss. But if they are not selling, there is no loss. So, guys, uh, uh, some funny news that uh, you know that this uh, U.S. debt uh, limit uh, has been reached last week, and Democrats pushed to eliminate the debt ceiling, allow unlimited government borrowing. So, guys you really want to to go to hell with the with the u.s debt so guys you really want that the u.s uh, uh, should go to the hell with this um insane number that you are showing here so just i'm 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 i'm, I'm just uh, uh, spelling one sentences and and the, the debt is growing with one hundred thousand u.s dollars so guys the good news that um the uh, uh, the expectation that the Fed will raise just 25 basis point it's almost 100 percent so if the Fed uh, will do so then a uh, huge firework and uh, crypto and stock rally to continue and breaking some key resistance levels like the 200 week moving averages so guys take a look on the chart so Bitcoin is uh, just right now let's check the BLX chart so Bitcoin is traded about uh, 23,000 US dollar and uh, we are not far away from this 200 day moving average maybe we will set some shorts but if we are breaking down that we are going to set up some long positions here and also we did a nice long so we are longing Bitcoin as it is uh, getting closer on the daily charts or let's check the 4 hour charts as it is getting closer to these uh, 24,600 US dollar levels so wait to see uh, these shorts and you see a few altcoins are pumping a while and also coin went up 15% so almost doubled uh, just in a month so guys coinbase is back so guys that's it let's go and check out my twitter feed definitely follow me on Twitter at uh, M-I-K-L-O-S Denkler uh, and also let's follow uh, what's this let's follow at Korean platform and at laserpunk underscore gods so these are our projects and also let's go and visit our farms uh, uh, it's better to uh, go to our Binance Marching Farm because Ethereum Farm will be uh, just uh, ending this month uh, so you find almost 100%, 123% uh, 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 yearly APR. So let's go provide some liquidity on PancakeSwap and earn juicy APRs. And also you can use our farm as I already told you so. 
so guys we are moving uh, forward and also we are supporting the laser punk uh, guard development hopefully we will see some test mintings uh, with uh, uh, some partner projects very very soon so daily active users on chains bnb polygon ethereum and solana give a like and share will be a nice trading bitcoin with these bull flags uh, up to, uh, to these parabolic levels so just trade this up could bitcoin be at uh, 43,500 by april definitely it points of control and uh, if we are uh, entering this new high levels so guys uh, what else do we have here dca so the best advice dca when the market is done and don't trap in the low time frame charts and also check out these cycles cycle theory and then we are entering to a new cycle and third cycle is a bullish cycle third and fourth cycle are bullish s p 500 is at decision point we'll see which way it will continue so Finally, Bitcoin is about to uh, about the realest price. This is quite important, and also, uh, guys, thirteen red after thirteen red candle, the we we got a one the first green candle on the uh, Heiken uh, Ashi Ashi chart. Kaleo also bullish. So, guys, great to see. Let's go and also check Twitter. So, guys, definitely check my Twitter. Join, follow me. Uh, use our farms use our bridge and uh, also join our telegram channel and see you in the next video bye bye